work. So if I push like this, I can get it to work really well. Now it's not working, it's catching. Hey guys and gals and everyone else, this is Mr. Know-It-All and we are here with another amazing know-it-all trick. And remember, we always say, well, every video you watch, you get smarter. Now today we're talking about deadbolts. And that's this thing right here. It should work just like that. When that door opens, that deadbolt should go just as easy here as it does when it goes in to the plate. If it doesn't do that, I'm going to share with you how to fix it real easy like. And the biggest problem, people say, well, you got to jack your door up and you got to move the door up and shim it and tighten, put screws in the hinges. You don't have to do none of that because if you monkey with that, moving the door in or out or what have you, you're going to throw your normal door off the latch here, which closes real good. So it should work like that. Let's go over here and I'll show you a really bad one. Now I love this, doing videos in Florida because I can wear sandals every day of the week. It works out really well. All right, before we get this going, don't forget the slick trick at the end of this video. Remember, every Mr. Know-It-All video will have a slick trick in it, and sometimes those will be better than the original video itself. So this deadbolt will not go in. And you can tell where it's catching if you have, you get lucky, you have to push in on the door to get the bolt to work. So if I push like this, I can get it to work really well. Now it's not working, it's catching. This part works good. And I have my little helper here, Lily the know-it-all. She likes to be involved in everything I do and I'm not kidding you. So if it's catching, when I push in on the door it means it's hitting this edge right here. I can't take this out and move it in, carve that out. Some guys will say cut it out with a chisel. Waste of time, complete waste of time. And here's why. Because once you take these screws out, trying to put screws in again, they'll keep wanting to go back into the same hole. Not good. Now the door hasn't sagged, otherwise it'd be hitting here. Or if it's in, up too high, it'd be hitting here. So it's telling me that it's hitting right here. Might be because they put new seals on here, push the door in, so it's hitting here. Now I'll show you a little trick to find out where it's hitting if you push in on the door and it still won't go in. Let me show you a little trick. To find out where it is hitting, you take your magic marker and you paint the whole thing blue all the way around. And that'll come right off with some old 99. They say it's permanent until old 99 gets his hands on it. Now, we'll let it dry a little bit there. Now I'll step in front of the camera. I'll move this back in. Now if I just barely push in on the door and get it to catch, this, hear how hard that is? I'm really torquing on that. Now when I open this back up, if you look, you can see it's catching. It wore the blue off right there. Can't see it real well. Yeah, you can. Right there. You, you need one tool. It's this rig right here. I can't tell you how much work this will save you. So make sure you have your safety glasses on and all we're going to do is come around here and we're going to carve this out on this edge right here. These work really good on cavities too. If you're too cheap and you're a tight wad like me, I'm sure you could find one of your kids that let you uh, carve out a cavity with one of these. I'm just kidding, don't do that.
Usually, by the way that was catching, I'd have to remove about a sixteenth of an inch. And if you don't have to take this out and loosen the screws up and wear the holes out even more, don't take it out. Just do this. All right, that was about maybe 30 seconds. Let's try it out and see if it works now. All right, so we've seen that it was rubbing off on this corner right here. So what we're going to do is see if our grinding did it. And we just fully latch it so you hear this click. Look at that. No more pushing. No more pushing. This is how it's supposed to work, folks. Julio, get over here and tell everybody where all the tools are located. Buscar en el show más de la descripción de video para todas las herramientas. Thank you, Julio, Cesar, Chavez, Jorge, Johnson, Francis, Reddington. I don't know what names he's got anymore. All right, here's our Mr. Know-It-All, the guru of everything. Quick, slick tip. For the end of the video this is a no mess no fuss bacon cook and as you know when you cook it in a frying pan it splatters all over the place here you don't have to do that you take your baking sheet line it with foil put your thick sliced bacon in at 450 for 25 minutes now if you're using thin sliced bacon do it at 450 for 10 to 15 minutes it's that quick and easy. You'll love it. The bacon turns out perfect, and it's not a big fat mess. And there it is, all done. 25 minutes later, and once you lay it on some paper towel, it's nice and crispy, and no mess.